Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the aligned puff stitch. And I'm going to be using this stitch in a future video. So I want to make sure that I helped you to slowly identify how to actually tackle this crochet stitch. It's really beautiful, but I could see how the pattern being written out could lead to a lot of questions. So I wanted to add that visual aspect for you. So taking your yarn, creating your slip knot, attaching your crochet hook. Let's go ahead and begin. So the aligned puff stitch is actually in a multiple of two stitches plus one for the foundation row and then plus another one for your turning chain to get onto row one. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to just start with a swatch. That way I can quickly show you how to move from row to row. So a multiple of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. And then plus one for my foundation row. And then plus one more for the foundation row chain. Okay. There we go. We are ready to start row one. So for row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our chain, Remember, the loop on your crochet hook does not count as a chain. Looking at our V stitches, got one, two, single crochet in that second chain. And then the pattern is to chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet in the following chain. Then chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet in the following chain. And you repeat this pattern all the way across for row one. All right, skip the next chain and we will single crochet in the very last chain to close off row one. Beautiful. All right, to get onto row two, we will chain two. One, two. That chain two does count as our first half double crochet and will actually take that ver very first stitch space. Okay? In the chain one stitch here, we're going to make our first half double crochet for TOG, which just stands for four half double crochet stitches crocheted together. So because it's a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert our crochet hook into that chain one space, yarn over, pull that yarn through, but we will not pull any stitches through the loops because it's a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over again, insert our crochet hook into that same chain one space, yarn over, pull that yarn through. Now we have five loops on our crochet hook. Do that again, yarn over, insert our crochet hook into that same chain one space, yarn over, pull through. Now we have seven loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, insert our crochet hook, same chain one space, yarn over, pull that loop through. When you have nine loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on your crochet hook, you will yarn over and pull that yarn through all the loops on your crochet hook. And that is your half double crochet for TOG. Chain one, hop over that single crochet stitch. And in the next chain one stitch, we're going to make another half double crochet for TOG. So yarn over, insert a crochet hook into that chain one space, yarn over, pull through. I like to actually do kind of an extended half double crochet and pull that yarn up to allow my crochet hook to have some room to pull the yarn through all the loops at the end. It's just a tip that seemed to help me out a lot. So yarn over, insert crochet hook into the same chain one space, yarn over, pull through, five loops, keep going, yarn over, insert crochet hook, same chain one space, Yarn over, pull through. All right, now we have seven. Do that one more time. Yarn over, 
insert crochet hook into the same chain one spot, yarn over, pull through, great, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your crochet hook. It works best if you work slow. All right, and then chain one, that seals off that half double crochet for tog, and it gets you to hop that single crochet stitch right there. All right, now let me show you what happens if you work this stitch too tight. So one, two, three, four. All right, so I have my nine loops on my crochet hook here. Yarn over, pull through. Okay, I just split a loop. I just like dragged another loop and split a loop through. Managed to get through, but this one looks a lot more sloppy than the loose stitches that we created before. See that? So if you have a tendency to make your stitches on the lighter end, either go up a crochet hook size or just really focus on the extended stitch. So inserting your crochet hook, yarn over, and when you pull that yarn through that stitch space, extend it so that all of your loops are in line with each other and that you're not, your crochet hook doesn't look angled like this, or even if you are a knife holder. There we go. Your crochet hook isn't angled. You want all of your stitches to be in line with each other before you continue and yarn over inserting your crochet hook yarn over pull through and then extend there we go and one more there we go. nine loops on our crochet hook yarn over make sure that claw is facing down so it doesn't catch on any of our loops and slowly glide all the way through <clears throat> Beautiful. All right, go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way to the end. I'll, I will meet you at the end to show you how that looks at the end of row two and how to move on to row three. All right, last chain one space. One, two, three, four. Got my nine loops on my crochet hook. Perfect. But when we come to the very end, you do not chain one. No, you just make one half double crochet in that last stitch to close off the row. Boom, just like that, okay? So that might get you a little hung up that not chaining one at the end there, but you just instantly end with a half double crochet and that will help us to square off that side. Moving on to row three, chain one, turn our work. So we will single crochet in the very first stitch. We will chain one to hop over the half double crochet for tog, and then we will single crochet in that chain one space. Then chain one, hop over the half double crochet for tog, and then single crochet around that chain one space. And that is the repeat pattern for row three. In the very last stitch, we chain one to hop over that last half double crochet for tog, and we will single crochet in the second chain, there we go, that we chained to begin the previous row. And that is super important in helping us to be square in that, on that side. So for row four, and for every single even number row, you will chain two, one, two. Turn your work. That chain two will always count as your very first stitch and will always take that very first stitch space. In the very first chain one space, you're gonna make your half double crochet four tog. One, two, three, four. Making sure that there are nine loops on your crochet hook before you yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through. 
and then chain one to hop over that single crochet stitch and make another half double crochet for tog in the next chain one space. And that is the repeat pattern for every even number row. There we go. Chain one. And last stitch for row four, two, three, four. <clears throat> there we go. And we are not going to chain one. We're just going to make a half double crochet in that very last stitch there. And this is what we're looking at. Perfect. Stretch those out so you can really see what's, what's happening. There we go. And then in, in every odd number row, so this would be row five, you only chain one. You turn your work and you single crochet in the first stitch, chain one to hop over that puff stitch, and then single crochet in the in-between. Chain one, single crochet. Chain one, single crochet. And that is the repeat pattern all the way across for row five and every other odd number row here. Ending with a chain one and single crochet in the second chain from the previous row. Perfect. Now you may be asking, what do you do in the very last row of this particular pattern? Honestly, I would end on a row three to make it cleaned off and easy for you to add a border if that was what you so chose but I think row three is a great place to end. You don't need to end on a solid single crochet or a half double crochet row because that's not what we did for row one. I just repeat row one with the very last row, which would have been a row three because our odd number rows are the same. All right, that is how you do the aligned puff stitch. I hope you found it easy and I'm really excited to see what you do with it. I have heard that people have used this to make bags, to make clothing, and blankets, of course, are always a great way to use this stitch. But I would love to hear how you use this stitch in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me with this aligned puff stitch tutorial. I hope you had fun. I love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, guys, and I will see you <laughs> with my next video. Bye, guys.